I just bought a week's worth of groceries for less than $60. There's a lot of good food in here. And if you're a wrestler who's looking to shop and eat healthy on a budget, or if you're just looking to eat a little bit healthier for less money spent, then you might want to check out what's inside my bags right here and stick around for the video. All right, let's see it. Let's see what we got here. First item, we have a carton of a two and a half dozen of eggs. Now, if you're looking to save a little bit of money, sometimes you can just buy a, a carton that'll last you a week, but sometimes it, it saves a little bit of money to buy in bulk. So pick, pick the letter right here. Lots of options to do with eggs. We got five apples. I got the Pink Ladies. There's a bunch of different brands of apples out there. Buck 99 a pound right there. You could pick the smaller ones, the bigger ones, whatever you need to do. A bushel of bananas. Bananas are one of the cheapest bang for your buck items. You can get a bunch of bananas for super cheap. We got some oven roasted turkey breast deli meat and a lot of people are a little bit snobby when it comes to their deli meats but this package stuff it's still pretty tasty in my opinion it's a good snack item or good for lunches same thing here but rotisserie chicken breast spice it up a little bit get a different options in there for our lunch add some cheese to your sandwich and i'm a meat and cheese type of guy Stick this between two pieces of bread, buns, or a tortilla, whatever it is, and that's my lunch for the day. I have a ham steak right here, eight ounces. This is half a pound, good source of protein. You could have some eggs with this, and you could have eggs and ham. That could be uh, a dinner, and it's a pretty light dinner. It's a good protein-filled dinner, very cheap and affordable. We got some fajita-style tortilla wraps for our deli meat or some of our other ground meats that we have in the other bag. Protein bars, we have five of these, five protein bars. Splurged a little bit here, a little bit on the pricey side, but it's a good protein source, a good snack, and it only weighs 1.76 ounces, so you won't have to worry about it sticking to you. Ground turkey, they had a special on this, $1.39 for a pound of ground turkey. You're going to have to spice it up a little bit. It's not the most flavorful of the meats out there, but very cheap, bang for your buck. And why have one when you can have two? We got some cream cheese spread. If you have some bread or if you just want to have some crackers and cheese, this is a good option for a snack. And jar of peanut butter extra crunchy for Jacko right here. That was bag one. Let's see what's in bag two. We have six bagels, plain bagels right here. Now you can pair this with the cream cheese, the peanut butter. Now it's starting to come together. You got options here, people. Options. Cheerios. You can always get name brand, but I feel like name brand, Cheerio or name brand Cheerios are always a little too bland. This is a good source of protein. You got five grams of protein. It's a good snack. It's not not heavy. Not it's not gonna stick to you. It's, it's a nice little. You know, you you just want to snack on it a little bit. Have a handful here and there. Good for your cholesterol. We got some home style waffles right here. This is ten waffles, twelve ounces. So one waffle is about. 1.2 ounces. You can have this for breakfast with your eggs and it's light and it's somewhat filling when it's all said and done. We got some pancake mix too. You got some options. Super easy here. It's just add water. So you just put it on the skillet at, or you put it in a bowl, you add the water and you put it on a skillet and then you're done. Don't concern yourself with syrup too much. You don't want to get super sugary or anything like that. So chop up your bananas or your apples and you can pair this with your uh, buttermilk pancakes or you could put some peanut butter on top or some cream cheese for your pancakes. Right here we got some graham crackers. This is my go-to. These two every single day. Nice little snack. You put two graham crackers together 
you slap some peanut butter in the middle, and you got a little graham cracker sandwich. This is a good lunch option. It's good, high in protein, and it's a little bit filling as well. So good graham crackers. Rice-a-roni, the San Francisco treat. These are a buck piece, and you pair this with your ground chicken. You make the whole box. It's only seven ounces, maybe a little bit more when it absorbs the water that it's cooking in, but you get some chicken uh, flavored rice roni. You put that with the ground meat. That's a dinner right there. And we're doing this twice a week. Last but not least, we got we to flavor that turkey. So we got some taco seasoning mix. And this is, uh, you're going to put this on your meat so that it's not just, yeah, trust me on that one. If you're getting ground turkey, you're going to want to spice it up a little bit. Without further ado, the grand total here. The grand total, I'm going to bring this up to the camera right here, 59.67. You see that? 59.67. You got a week's worth of groceries here for less than $60. And there's a lot of good options. We have a good variety of stuff. We're eating healthy. None of this stuff is really unhealthy, so to speak. Uh, we're keeping it nice and light. People say like, oh, I don't like carbs. Well, we're going to have to we're going to have to refuel ourselves, especially if we're working out hard. You're going to want to get uh, a bagel and some peanut butter. Um, you, you know, you, you got to refuel yourself. So what are my options with this bag of groceries? How am I going to distribute this so that it's going to last me a week? Well, for breakfast, you have plenty of options. You could either grab a banana. You can grab some Cheerios. Uh, you know, I like... Cheerios without any milk. Some people might think I'm crazy, but uh, I would actually either have an apple or a banana or some eggs. We got a whole carton of eggs here. Um, we can make some pancakes. There's so many different options that we have uh, for breakfast. We want to make sure that we're eating sporadically throughout the day. We want to be snacking to uh, increase our metabolism, tricking our stomach into thinking that it's full when it's maybe not really... Full. So, snack options. Again, you could start off with an apple. Have an apple a day. That's what the doctors say. You can have a banana. You can have your protein bar. You got your peanut butter and crackers. You got a cream cheese and a bagel. You got cream cheese and crackers. You have a waffle. You got your deli meat sandwiches here. You know, you got, you can make a little tortilla. You could put the uh, you can put the peanut butter in the tortilla, make a little wrap. Be creative with it. You, you don't have to limit yourself. You could switch it up. The, th the thing that always helped me to kind of maintain my weight is consistency. When you find a certain group of meals that you like, you want to replicate that and keep it consistent day after day after day. So that's what I did. I would buy Taco Tuesday. Every single Tuesday, I would make tacos. Ground beef and taco shells, it's not really unhealthy. Maybe it's not the healthiest thing in the world, but it's not, the, it's not unhealthy, so to speak. You're getting in your, your protein with the beef, and what, what else are you doing? You got a little bit of fat. Maybe you buy the, the more expensive, low-fat percentage ground beef. So you don't have to limit yourself. You have options. Lunch. Like I was saying, you got your deli meat and cheeses. You could do a bagel with cream cheese. You could just stick with your fruits. You could do your ham steak. You could cook. You got your cereal. And for dinners, you know, like I said, you got your ham with the eggs. You could do breakfast for dinner. You could do the uh, wa uh, pancake mix and bananas with a little bit of peanut butter. As long as you're getting some protein in with each major meal, so you got breakfast, maybe you do your protein bar, lunch, you got your deli meats, dinner, you got your peanut butter and pancakes. That's, that's good. That's, I mean, there's nothing unhealthy about that. This is assuming that you're exercising throughout the day. I don't want to say that if you're just going to eat this meal, you're going to lose a bunch of weight. No, this is what I would eat on a normal basis, weekly basis when I was competing uh, as a Division One wrestler in college, so I was working one, working out one to two times a day, supplementing it with this food because I had to maintain a certain weight class week after week after week. So make sure you're getting in your exercise that you're supplementing with this food. Nothing 
that I bought here, I would scream out and say is unhealthy. This is all good food for you. You don't have to be reading the labels and saying, oh, this is, uh, you know, two grams of fat. No, that's not going to be a huge thing. Don't worry too much about the labels. Just make sure you're being smart. You're distributing yourself. You're getting your fruits. <laughs> I didn't get any veggies this week, but you can grab some frozen veggies or whatever you do. Um, eat the foods that you like to eat. Once you find that, replicate it. Like I said, I'm just sharing with you what I would eat on a weekly basis uh, when I was competing. So there you have it. That is a week's worth of food that can feed this man right here uh, for less than $60. I did it for four years uh, some time ago. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and let me know uh, what foods that you like to eat and how uh, you can shop on a budget. All right, guys, until next time, I'm Jacko Attacko. Eat right and have a great day.